Zambia's commitment to energy security and inclusive development is being clearly demonstrated in the western province where the Ngonye Falls hydroelectric project is underway. This 700 million United States dollars clean energy investment led by Western Power Company in partnership with Infraco Africa is expected to generate 180 megawatts of reliable electricity by 2029. That's enough power to reach nearly 200,000 homes or boost industrial output such as copper production. Yes, along the river. So these people, they are going to be compensated. And the compensation is already uh, done. Uh, when I'm saying uh, the compensation, I'm saying that the, the exercise to identify the people affected is already done. So what we are just waiting for now is to pay these people that are affected. So the project is being developed with strong government backing and includes a long-term 25-year power purchase agreement with Zesco Limited. As government, we are proud that this project is being carried out with minimal environmental impact and with full participation of local communities who will benefit through equity shares and annual financial support. It uh, constructed desks for us. There were about 60 desks. And apart from that, Western Power also um, gave us the two houses, the, the two staff houses which are here. And uh, uh, they are helping us a lot. It is a runoff river scheme, meaning there is no high dam or reservoir ensuring local ecosystems are preserved while maximizing renewable energy output. Most importantly, the construction of a brand new 110 kilometer 330 kV transmission line will not only evacuate power to the grid but also help strengthen electricity access throughout the western province, a region that is historically faced challenges with reliable supply. This line is expected to close critical infrastructure gaps and promote growth in local areas like Sioma, Sesheke, Senanga and beyond. Let it be clear, under President Haka Indeichlema's leadership, the government's belief is that no part of Zambia should be left behind. It shows how public-private partnership, smart planning and inclusive investment contain natural resources like the Zambezi River the Zambezi River into long-term national value. As works advance, we will continue to provide updates on progress and ensure local stakeholders remain at the heart of the transformation project.